Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Retro Game Restore GPI Mate for the Compute Module 3 Plus Lite. So on the left is the Retro Flag GPI case, originally intended for the Raspberry Pi Zero. On the rear of the unit, it does have a way to interface with these single board computers. Also, it is powered in two ways, with three AAA batteries on the rear, or on the left hand side, it does have a plug for external power. This case is going to run to you about $70 on Amazon. The GPI Mate is going to run to you about $45 on their website. And the Compute Module 3 Plus Lite, about $30 on the Element 14 website. So installing this is pretty simple. Just make sure this goes all the way down and then push it back. And then it does come with a plastic case to hold it in. It's really simple. Just line it up, push it down, and then here's a case. And this just easily snaps into place. So from there, this plugs into the back right here. Now one thing I will say this sticking out a lot of you guys I know out there may not be a fan of that. So let's talk a little bit about this case. Uh, this has four, uh, the D-pad right here, four face buttons right here. It does also have a L and an R right here. On the inside you can put batteries right here. This is a safe shutdown. If you want to use a safe shutdown script you just toggle that on before you use it. And I'll get into that later. Start and select speaker right here. We have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. We have a volume knob over here and then we have a contrast slider over here. We have an input jack right here for power and then the on off switch is right there. So the way to use Wi-Fi with this unit, this is a Wi-Fi dongle. So all I got to do is plug it in here and then this is a StarTech USB to USB micro adapter and simply what you do is this plugs into the top like so and now you have Wi-Fi to the unit one thing I'd recommend if you do run into a problem where it is not booting what I would do is let the unit boot first and then plug in this adapter to connect to Wi-Fi the other thing I would say is do not pull out the Wi-Fi while this is in use because then this will slide the board possibly outside the unit and your unit will crash. Always make sure this is properly pushed in all the way. So I've created two images to share. They're both eight gigabyte images. I'm just putting them on bigger cards. But yeah, the first one does not include the shutdown script. So it's pretty simple to, to plug this in. You just go right here. It's going to snap in. Now I'm using a power adapter. It is a 1.35 amp power supply. Just plug it in there. Let's power it on. So one system the Raspberry Pi Zero struggles with is the CPS3 system. So this is Red Earth. Let's load this up. So right now I have X-Men loaded up. This is the four player version. Right here the user to device index you can toggle that to the left activate that go here to user 3 hit left to activate that go here to user 4 activate that just a neat little trick you can now use <laughs> one controller to control four people another alternative is there is a slot right here you can plug in an additional USB controller using an adapter and you can play two players on a single screen now to exit out it is start and select that'll bring you back navigating backwards is this button right here to go into a game it is a right here now the skip fast you can hit the back the L and R buttons on the back to quickly go down a list or go up a list if you're not familiar with this image, it's pretty simple. We have Arcade, we have Capcom, we have PC Engine, we have Neo Geo, 32X, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, 
regular Nintendo. 500 games. Yeah, it's my 8 gigabyte image. Just type in level 1 online plug and play if you want further details. So to turn this off, if you're using the one without the shutdown script, you just go right here to quit. You go here to shut down system. Yes. So the unit will basically shut down just like a regular Raspberry Pi 3, but it still has power running through it. So to cut off the power, you will just need to go up here and just cut it off that way. And at that point, you can just plug unplug that. One thing you will notice, this tends to burn pretty, pretty hot. It's, it's a little warm to the touch, so just please be aware. So the image with the shutdown script is a little bit more tricky. If you want to experiment and see which one is right for you. What I recommend doing is making sure you get three brand new AA batteries. You need to make sure you have the toggle. This right here, the safe shutdown script, toggled on. Let's put this in. Alright, so once you're done playing, just as a reminder, this will chew up your battery really quick. So there are a few guides out there to resolve that. I'm not going to link to that in the description, but you just got to do a YouTube search and you will find them. So anyways, the way to power this down, you just toggle that. It'll run the shutdown script. Give it a moment, and then it'll turn off completely, and that's it. Anyways, I'm Level 1 Online. You guys take care.